Groot. Groot is an alien known by the Kree as a floral colossus. He originated from planet X, and it was thought that his species had been extinct. Groot was first seen when he landed on Earth with his spaceship and threatened humanity as one of the Marvel monsters in the Marvel Age of Monsters. It was his purpose to conquer planet Earth. He used some trees from Earth to become his soldiers. Groot was, however, soon defeated by a clever human which used termites on him. Groot fell to the ground and seemingly perished. He was not heard from for many years after his initial encounter with humanity. Groot was created by Dick Ayres, Stan Lee and Jack Kirby and first appeared in Tales to Astonish number 13 in 1960. Groot has changed from a perhaps a misunderstood menace to the earth to a friendly guardian whom protects the innocents. In his first appearances he can speak but eventually he can only say the words I am Groot. After some time Groot resurfaced when his body was taken by the Collector, a cosmic creature that collected different rare species from the universe. It was him that revived Groot once more. Groot was freed from captivity when the Mole Man used his powers to free the collected creatures from the Collector. This included Groot. Groot roamed the Earth for some time, fighting against the Incredible Hulk along with a number of other Marvel monsters. He was, however, soon defeated and faded into obscurity, not being heard from in a long time. Many years passed and he was eventually seen again when he was recruited slash apprehended by the Howling Commandos, a division of S.H.I.E.L.D. that was a team compromised of monster-like heroes. Despite his ability to hide in plain sight by looking like a tree, he was caught because he did not smell like a tree. Groot helped the monster team on a handful of missions. Eventually, Groot was freed from S.H.I.E.L.D. custody and returned into Kree space. Sometime later, Groot started changing his ways and became a force for the good. He joined a team of space superheroes led by Peter Quill, aka Star-Lord. The group went to the planet known as Halla for an apparent suicide mission to stop a mass assimilation weapon being developed by the Phalanx Covenant. During this mission, Groot is blown up and seemingly killed. Though he is pleased to have this happen, as he surveys the situation he's in and deems that it would not be a good and honourable death, this is not to be, as part of Groot survives and catches up with the rest of his team. This twig-sized Groot perches on Rocket Raccoon's shoulder for a time in a bit of a turnabout, as Groot's shoulder or outstretched hand had been Rocket's preferred Gatling gun perch throughout the story up until then. Groot requests moisture and is spat upon by Rocket. Ignoble, but it helps. Later restored to full size, Groot again allows himself to be used for suicide tactics. He infiltrates a phalanx base and grows his limbs outwards into the base's command centre, before allowing himself to be blown up, taking the phalanx structure with him. Before he went off to die again, however, Rocket Raccoon had broken off a twig of him in the hopes that they would be able to grow him back again with it. After this mission, Rocket dutifully waters the Groot twig, and in time he does indeed return once more, now to join Star-Lord's new revamp of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Much of Groot's dialogue is merely him saying, I am Groot, again and again, which strangely allows him to function as comic relief. In Guardians of the Galaxy number 17, Lord Maximus reveals that while it may sound as if Groot is only able to say, I am Groot, he is actually saying quite a bit more. He can only say the same phrase because of the condition of his larynx. To truly understand him, you must listen to the sigh of breeze beneath it, the nuance of meaning. Groot is also extremely intelligent, with extensive knowledge of quasi-dimensional engineering. 
With his knowledge, he and Maximus were able to stop Atalan from being consumed by the fault. After saving Atalan, the team had to face the fault itself. Adam Warlock was able to stop its expansion by overlapping the timeline with an unused future. But the future he used was the future in which he became the Magus. As the Magus, he immediately attacked the team. Groot tried to help, but the Magus was far too powerful and blew apart one of Groot's arms when he tried to attack. In battle with the Magus, many team members were killed, including Groot's friend Mantis. In the end, Star-Lord was able to revert the Magus back into Adam, but was forced to end his life. The fault had been stopped from expanding, and the Magus defeated, but the cost of the battle was very high. Following the disbanding of the Guardians after the war with the Cancerverse, Groot was forced to return to Planet X, where it was revealed he was not the true monarch of the planet, but one of the younger members of his race. In pretending he was ruler, he was sent into exile to rot on an island far off the planet. On Planet X, Groot was exiled to a far-off island, where he was being guarded by the cyborg punishment birds, robotic woodpeckers, until his good friend Rocket Raccoon stages a rescue. During this rescue attempt, the robotic woodpeckers can no longer guarantee Groot's containment, so they unleash the most feared weapon on Planet X, Flame. Groot is set ablaze, right in front of Rocket's eyes. It is revealed that Groot did not die because, after all the adventures with the Guardians of the Galaxy, he has become very good, and creating smaller versions of himself or cuttings. After this, the dynamic duo are rescued by the undergrowth resistance of Planet X, a rebel group of small plants, small animals and fungi, trying to win back rights from their giant tree overlords. Groot had been one of their supporters before he joined the Guardians of the Galaxy. Groot then accompanies Rocket to his home planet, Half-World Asylum, for the criminally insane. After Rocket Raccoon gains his memories back from the asylum is sent into chaos by Barry Bowman, the Star Thief. Groot pulls Rocket out of a holographic hallucination. It turns out that earlier that Groot had taken the precaution of releasing a cut of himself upon his initial capture in case of trouble. Groot also uses his dendronic powers, which allow him to communicate through any trees, even holographic ones. Groot then leads a group of wooden clown security guards, which he has germinated to control, on an assault of the ship's support systems as a distraction for Rocket. After everything on Half-World is settled, Groot stays with Rocket Raccoon to try and start back up the Guardians of the Galaxy. Shortly after leaving Half-World, Rocket and Groot investigate a space pirating operation, and after stopping it, found out that they were swept into the interdimensional TV producer Mojo's latest reality television idea. Using real-life crimes that Rocket and Groot would fight, but instead of being the heroes, if an innocent was caught in the crossfire, they would be killed in the process. Now Rocket and Groot seek to stop Mojo, but at the same time, if their show gets cancelled, they will die in the process. As Rocket and Groot moved from one setting to another, Mojo started advertising action figures with a collection pack that allows buyers to assemble their own 12-inch Groot figure after collecting all five. The demand was so high, Mojo stand to make a fortune until the timely incorporated mail device decided to take his own action in stopping everything and held a very large plasma rifle at Mojo's face. It allowed the reality system to stop just enough time for Rocket Raccoon and Groot to leave their fictional landscape and head straight towards Mojo's base. Groot eventually received his very own solo series, in which Groot and Rocket explore the far reaches of the galaxy during their time with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Groot's Powers Groot is a sentient floor colossus from the planet X. He has super strength due to his enormous size, and was mostly used as a heavy assault trooper by the Guardians of the Galaxy. Groot has shown the ability to create multiple miniature copies of himself, known as cuttings, which retain all his memories, and can be used to resurrect himself if he's ever destroyed. 
Cuttings can also germinate other plant life forms, so Groot can control them. Groot can also speak through trees of all forms, and has even spoken to Rocket Raccoon through holographic trees that were not even real, but just made up in Rocket's head. In his first appearances, Groot could speak normally, but later on he is only saying, I am Groot. However, he says this with various inflections, having different meanings. Groot has a genius level intellect. He is featured in the Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, Ultimate Spider-Man, Avengers Assemble, Agents of Smash, Marvel Disc Wars, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, the Spider-Man, and in various video games. He is featured extensively in Marvel's merchandising and, of course, in the MCU. I suppose in reality there is only one thing left to say. Well, three words, but I think you can guess what they are.